TAM Flight 402 began a routine takeoff from Sao Paulo. One pilot pushed the thrust levers partway forward, then engaged the auto throttle to complete the thrust setting process. As the engines reached maximum thrust, a chime and a message alerted the pilots that one of two auto throttles had disengaged. Then at 40 knots, a double chime and caution light alerted them that both auto throttles were disengaged. The crew discussed the messages, which showed a minor condition with no safety effect. They continued the takeoff roll using manual thrust control. Instruments showed the engines operating normally. The captain rotated the aircraft for a typical liftoff. The right thrust lever snapped to idle and the airplane began to yaw to the right. The first officer fought to restore the lever to the full forward position against heavy resistance. He moved the thrust lever forward, but it snapped back a second time. As he held both levers in the forward position, the automatic retard of the right lever also caused him to retard the left lever. He was able to push them both up. The captain told him to turn off the auto throttles as the right lever snapped back a third time. He forced the lever forward again and both sets of engine instruments moved to normal indications. As a result of the right engine developing full reverse thrust, the airplane decelerated until it stalled. It then rolled to the right, struck a building, and burst into flames 25 seconds after liftoff. The auto throttle system never failed. It disengaged because the right engine thrust reverser was unlocked due to a pair of electrical failures. As the airplane lifted off the runway, the right engine thrust reverser deployed as a result of faults within the reverser control system. An electrical failure prevented the reverser deployment from being indicated to the pilots, resulting in them being unaware of the reverser configuration. Investigators believed that the crew was unaware that the opening of the right engine reverser was causing the thrust lever to be retarded to idle. The third time that the co-pilot fought to restore thrust, a linkage in the auto retard system broke and freed the thrust lever to move forward without resistance. The reverser fully opened while the engine accelerated to take off. This high reverse thrust condition caused an airplane deceleration that resulted in a stall and loss of control. If forward thrust is being produced and a malfunction causes the reverser to move to the reverse thrust position, the associated throttle is forced to a reduced thrust setting.